Hello there my happy hedgehogs, welcome back, or if you're new to the channel, my name is Kat and I post a new art video every week. So in last week's video I showed you some of my concept art that I was working on for the comic that I'm trying to make, um, and that was fun, I got a lot of good feedback on that. In this week's video I'm going to be showing you some of the newer concept art I've made, let me just find it, where does it start? It starts here. Uh, so some of the newer concept art that I've made uh, as well as doing um, an actual portrait of my main character on some nice watercolor paper. So like it's gonna be like her full body drawing, so not, not exactly a portrait. Her full body drawing that's kind of like the, this is my character, this is what she looks like, it's her first like official drawing, and I'll be introducing her to you. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna go quickly into like everything I've been working on this week. So. This whole piece of paper, I mean, <laughs> this whole spread you saw in last week's video, except for this mouse, which is why I'm showing him to you. <laughs> um, and then here here she is, my main character. That's my, my rough draft of her full body portrait. Um, I'm really excited about her. She's really fun. I was also writing down stuff about her name in the corner here because I was trying to figure out what I wanted her name to be. I have decided on her name. Um, and this was supposed to be, like, a background for, like, um, a web page or something, and it just looked really bad, so I was like, okay, no. Um, this next page, I have just some more doodles. This kind of came out terrible. Not terrible, but I didn't really enjoy how it came out, but it was another drawing of my main character, Percy. Uh, her name is Priscilla, but she goes by Percy, because she's a tomboy. Uh, there she is again. There's um, her friend character who I'm still developing, um, but she's gonna be an albino mouse. There she is again. She's so pretty. I love her. I love her little her little albino ness. Yeah, she's cute. Uh, here we have some more drawings of Percy and this drawing. I freaking love this drawing. This is where I finally was like, okay, that's her personality. Like, look at that face. She's just so evil but in a good way she, she's not she's not all evil so um and this was going to be a chipmunk or squirrel character and i wrote that he was either an infj or an infp i haven't decided which oh my god i i love this one okay so <laughs> i found this picture of um a mouse sleeping inside like a flower i'm not sure what kind of flower it was i think it's like an iris or something don't quote me on that i don't know my flowers i'm not a flower expert i'm an animal expert and I'm not even an animal expert. So <laughs> I, found, I found this picture of a mouse sleeping in a flower. So I started drawing the flower out because I was going to do the mouse sleeping in the flower. And I was going to make it Percy. But I was like, what if this flower was a throne? It looked like a throne. So I made this little king mouse in there. And I just think it's adorable. So yeah, there's that. Um, Neopet. <laughs> Oh my god, if you play Neopets, there's some exciting stuff going on in the Neopets news, and I was like, okay, time to figure out some characters, um, but if you don't, disregard everything I said, but uh, I did like a little plan for their paws, what their paws are going to look like, there's another mouse there, more Neopets stuff, and Percy again, and that's all I did. I have some other sketches on the other pages, but they're not important. <laughs> Actually, there might be something. Here's some more stuff. Oh yeah, another mouse. Little gray mouse with some ink. So yeah, that is, those are my sketches of my mice that I have for this week. And now here comes the exciting part. I'm going to be drawing Percy on my nice watercolor paper. Oh my god, I have like this really nice watercolor paper that I got. This is <laughs> another Neopet because I was trying to decide what Neopet I wanted because fun stuff. Um, but this is some nice paper that I'm going to sketch Percy out on. So I will be right back with that. Hello, I'm back as a voiceover. So yes, I'm currently drawing my main character Percy with my watercolors. Well, technically painting her with my watercolors and I will also be introducing her to you. Disclaimer, the information I'm about to relay to you is still a work in progress. It's not fully fleshed out yet and I will be changing a lot about it in the future uh, when I develop it more. So yeah, the plot of this comic is still in development. However, I have started to develop Percy a little bit. 
Percy is not a very nice little mouse, at least in the beginning of the story. She's vindictive, manipulative, and jealous. So how should I explain this to you? I don't want to give away too much. I think I'll just tell you about as much as a movie trailer would tell an audience. Basically, Percy is a teenage mouse who lives in a burrow underground in a field. The setting is very quaint and cottagecore. All that nice, you know, greenery and blah blah blah. So Percy's biggest dream is to be a stage actor. She wants to act in plays and musicals. However, her family doesn't really think that this is a realistic career path. It's the arts, it's hard to make it big, and they're very traditional people. Uh, growing up, Percy is a tomboy. Her full name is Priscilla, but she goes by the nickname Percy. She's outgoing and outdoorsy and bold and passionate about her dream. She is. She has her heart set on being an actor, and she's had that dream ever since her parents took her to see a play put on by a traveling theater company in the area when she was a little kid. It is a mouse theater company in a mouse-sized theater. <laughs> Percy's family is well off and has enough money to get by until there's a fire in the field where the burrow is and they lose absolutely everything and it's so tragic. And to complicate things, the very same theater group that Percy was so awestruck by as a young child is opening for auditions for new members. She knows that being an actor in this well-known theater company has the potential to pay well, but it's a long shot. She wants to audition. She tells her parents that she could earn money for the family, and they're like, no, dude, that's a very, very low chance that you'll get in, and we need you here taking care of your little brothers now that we have nothing. So Percy is stuck. She knows the right thing to do is to help her family at home, but this is her dream, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So what does Percy do? I'll give you a hint. It involves running away in the middle of the night, lying and manipulating her way into the theater group, and rationalizing all of this in her head because it's her dream and her family needs to make money somehow, right? Ridiculous adventures ensue, and that's as far as I've gotten so far with the whole plotting thing. I'm not very good at plotting any kind of story. Um... I'm just, I'm just not good at it. I really don't know why. It's just not my strong point as a writer, which, you know, kind of sucks because I guess it's important for stories to have plots. Um, but I'll just let my characters do their thing and I think that's fine. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter how weak your plot is, or maybe not weak, but how boring your plot is and how mundane it is as long as you have good characters, good strong characters that people like and want to see more of. So what I'm going to do the most is just try to develop my characters and their motivations and like the reason that they're doing the stuff they do and their personalities and all that fun stuff. I like that stuff. That's the stuff I actually like to do. And I kind of, whenever I write a story, I kind of get bogged down by character interactions and I kind of start making up little head cannons about like oh this is their favorite cereal and i just completely lose track of the project and it's so annoying but i know that i will get my stuff together and complete this project because i really want to and i'm determined to do it it is the most ambitious project i've ever decided to do and i'm just going to i'm just going to go for it so anyway, we are nearing the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave a like, a comment, and if you want to subscribe, if you like my content, I really love that. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye!